Here are some Java IDE improvements of Eclipse 2024-12, including Gradle, general improvements and improvements for web development, improvements that have been added since the last release in September 2024, three months ago. All 10 Eclipse IDE packages are now natively available for Windows on ARM. It looks the same as in Windows on x86, but as you can see in the installation details, this is actually Eclipse and Java running natively on Windows on ARM. And even on Linux, with a RISC-V 64-bit CPU, which is probably less common, you can now run Eclipse. Java 23 support is now built in. Since the IDE is shipped with Java 21, the latest version of Java for which long-term support is provided, in order to use Java 23, ensure that you have a Java 23 JDK installed on your system and configured in the preferences, Java, install JREs. Java 23 introduces one final Java language feature, Markdown documentation comments, where all lines start with three slashes. While you can still use Java doc comments with HTML tags for formatting, Markdown is easier to write and read in the source code. While looking the same in hovers and the Java doc view. Java 23 also provides some preview features that need to be explicitly enabled. These preview features are intended for testing what is being developed for future Java releases. Module import declarations, flexible constructor bodies that allow code to be placed in a constructor before super, and implicitly declared classes and instance main methods that reduce the code for Hello World to a minimum. When using Java 22 or higher, the Eclipse compiler for Java now detects unused Lambda parameters and displays a warning by default. If you like, you can adjust the severity of this problem in the project properties, Java compiler, errors warnings, Value of lambda parameter is not used. There is also a quick fix for unused lambda parameters when using Java 22 or higher. Hit Ctrl 1 and select Rename to Unnamed Variable, which replaces the unused parameter name with an underscore, the so-called unnamed variable, introduced in Java 22. The rename to unnamed variable quick fix is also available at unused variables that cannot be removed, for example in an enhanced for loop. Alternatively, if you generally want to use unnamed variables instead of lambda parameters or local variables that are needed and cannot be removed, you can use the remove unused local variables cleanup, which has been enhanced for this purpose. Right click the file the package, the source folder, the projects or multiple elements and choose source, cleanup go to the tab unnecessary code and in the unused code section enable remove unused local variables. A new cleanup has been added in the code style tab in the control statement section to simplify boolean if else to single return if possible. That, as the name already says, simply returns the condition of an if else statement with one branch returning true and the other false. That's better to read, isn't it? Voila! Where possible, if else statements have been simplified and unused variables have been removed or replaced by the unnamed variable. In the call hierarchy view, 
there is a new filter button to quickly access the filter options, which includes a new option to focus on test code only. In the Preferences, Gradle, Experimental Features, you can enable the problem's API support. When enabled, problems detected during a Gradle build and reported via the Gradle Problems API are displayed in the Problems view. Currently, only a few Gradle plugins use the Problems API, but you can use it for example, to get the compile errors of Javac, which is used by default by Gradle, and compare them to the problem messages of Eclipse's own compiler. In addition to these Java-specific improvements, there are general platform improvements as well. On Windows, if you use multiple monitors with different resolutions, there is a new preference for you to get the best possible resolution on each monitor. Window, Preferences, General, Appearance, check the Monitor Specific UI Scaling checkbox. Note that this is an experimental feature, so please provide feedback if you face an issue. In the Preferences, General, Editors, there is another new preference, Align Multi-Page Editor tabs, to select where the tabs of a multi-page editor should be displayed. At the top, or at the bottom, as they used to be displayed in the past. Performance has been improved in the Java tooling as well as in the platform. For example, when opening or cleaning Java projects, or when doing find and replace all in a large Java file. Quick search is now even quicker, as you can see here, compared to the previous version of Eclipse. That's nice, isn't it? Support for the latest web technologies is built into the Eclipse IDE for Enterprise Java and web developers, or can be obtained in other IDE packages by installing Eclipse Wild Web Developer as done here. TypeScript is now supported up to version 5.7. The tooling for both, JavaScript and TypeScript, has been enhanced. To properly check for overridden computed properties, and with a new check for never initialized variables in TypeScript. These were some of the Java IDE improvements of the quarterly rolling release December 2024. Thanks for watching and happy coding!